Van floors. Every van has one. In fact, they're basically required on vans. Some people have been requesting the uh, information about how I did my floor. Uh, this is how I did mine to integrate it with my foam bones build. Wait until the end where I will share all of the uh, mistakes that I made on this uh, floor. So let's get into it. Starting out on the factory floor here, and I'm using Reflectix. I mean, this could be anything. Uh, we're not really using it as insulation. I guess it is insulating, but basically all I'm doing here is cutting out Reflectix to fill the uh, low spots in the factory floor. That ribbing, uh, I just want to fill that, and I only need to do this in the areas where we're going to be walking. Uh, I don't. I didn't feel like I needed it in the underneath the cabinets and things like that. Then we're getting uh, the XPS foam, cutting it out to shape to fit in snugly all the way through the entire vehicle. I'm using the crafting hot knife here, the, the, the wire one, uh, just to get more precise cuts. Uh, and notice I'm using the sawing motion uh, because the, the heat transfers away and uh, wherever I wasn't using the, the cutting uh, blade uh, is going to be hotter. So I'm using a sawing motion up and down to speed up the use of that particular hot knife. Again, just kind of whittling each one down uh, so I get as snug a fit as possible. Moving on to the next piece here, marking each side, and again, just whittling it down. Uh, you know, that, that was that was a pretty unstraight cut there, but uh, you know, it, it gets down to the point where uh, you've got it nice and snug. Finishing it up by cutting out this edge at the back. And the way that I decided to do this back uh, ledge for the garage area was uh, just run it long to, the, uh, to the, the black step that's back there. And then I used, uh, you know, like a typical stair rail uh, molding, uh, an L bracket of uh, metal. And uh, did that both on this back step and on the slider step. Now, fast forward to after I've figured out everything that I want to do with the build, put the water tanks in there, have know where the, uh, the batteries are going for the, the solar system. Um, all of these pieces I've used uh, to actually uh, build the rest of the, the van out. So all of my notches where my cabinetry is going to uh, connect to the floor are already in there. And then I'm gluing it down. So I'm gluing it to the reflectix and the, the metal ribs of the factory uh, floor and then I'm just putting weight on it. These are the butcher block countertops uh, before I made them into the countertops for the van. Uh, again, just uh, getting all those fit in. I have a wire chase right there at the end of that butcher block, uh, which is a gap in between my flooring, and I'm just running all of the wires where they need to cross over from the electrical side of the vehicle to the uh, driver's side uh, of the vehicle. Get some uh, Encyclopedia Britannicas in here to hold all that down. Uh, and let it, uh, you know, cure overnight. Then I'm coming back through with the Gorilla HD um, uh, Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive and uh, filling in the gaps in between there. I've got the, the pointy part of the applicating tip uh, going down into there so that I get it deep into those cracks, uh, and then I'm just smoothing them over um, uh, after I'm done there. And again, keeping the weight on it, letting that cure. Then I'm going through and running uh, the, the wiring uh, where I need it to go, cutting out some wire chases in the foam for each of the spots, and then adding the glue to all of the edges where it meets up, um, using that glue to hold down the wire chase uh, if, if needed. All the way around the edge of the van, locking all of that flooring into place, both with the snugness of fit, but also with the... Uh, with the glue and this is also acting to kind of help keep that from uh, any water from going down underneath the floor. Put the original factory step back in since I raised the floor by an inch and I raised the step by an inch that uh, factory step goes right back in there. Then I put down the heavy duty construction adhesive all over that floor and I used an eighth inch piece of uh, chipboard. Uh, it could be plywood, uh, I just happen to have this uh, chipboard 
uh, available. So I put that down in all of the areas where we would be walking and also where the refrigerator is going to go um, just because it's heavier and it's sitting, uh, sitting on the floor there. Then we're coming through and we're going to be putting down this vinyl planking floor. Now you might notice I'm putting it down on the pink floor, not on the wood chip floor. Stay tuned to the end. Uh, there's going to be all the mistakes that I made. That was one of the mistakes that I made. So this uh, vinyl planking floor, pretty straightforward. You just want it to uh, kind of uh, alternate. You don't want all the seams to be in one place. So the first row that I'm putting in here, I'm uh, making sure that I'm offsetting those so that it's going to be a more organic alignment. Uh, as I get the pieces marked, Kendra cuts them with a jigsaw and then hands them back to me for me to assemble the floor together. And then I'm just kind of putting some finishing touches on each of those with the uh, oscillating multi-tool and then uh, snapping them into place. So, mistakes were made on the floor. Uh, remember that part where I said I was gluing all of these pieces together and then I put the glue down on the floor. Didn't do that step. Left it as uh, just the, 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 the normal uh, foam floor and then built the rest of it on there. I didn't put down that chipboard and I should have. Because once I was done building the cabinets, this is what that floor looked like. I mean, murdered. Dumb idea. Should have totally put something down to protect that floor. That was dumb. And the compression that uh, the foam experienced uh, from uh, having it uh, there and just walking on it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth as I was building everything in here um, was pretty evident. Once I got the pieces out, here's what they looked like. On the bottom, normal piece of foam. On the top, this is the piece that you can see the ribs from the factory floor there. That's how much it had compressed. I mean, like, it's down to three quarters of an inch, maybe even less there. And as you can see, just trashed. So I actually ended up cutting out a lot of that floor in that area that I walked and gluing in a new uh, piece. The other thing here is that uh, on this floor, we have uh, this vinyl planking that I got is not the best quality. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you. Um, I got it from Home Depot. Um, but the uh, uh, the joints it wants to break and uh, it just doesn't take the wear and tear of van life very well. I do videos about this van build every week or so. If you enjoyed this one and want to know more about the foam bones build system that I've been working on for a few years, uh, there's a whole playlist of those up here. If you've already seen all of those and you want to know more about the way that I did the electrical in this van, there's a playlist down here for that. Hopefully I'll see you over there on one of those. If not, we'll see you next week. Here's to long runs.